just when we thought the beef between Lotto and Nicki Minaj was over, Lotto just revived it after she threw major shade at Nicki for coming for Megan the Stallion. Now, as most of y'all already know, Lotto and Nicki got into a very messy feud about a year ago because Nicki was pressed about Lotto getting a Grammy nomination over her. They exchanged some very nasty words to each other and Lotto even ended up calling Nicki a bitter 40-year-old granny. Well, it looks like their beef is back in full force because Lotto just showed her support for Megan amid her ongoing beef with Nicki. However, fans are not here for this because they feel like the only reason Lotto is suddenly supporting Megan is because she wants Nicki to respond so she can get the same publicity that Megan is getting right now. Now, in case you somehow missed out on all the drama, it all started when Megan embarrassed Nicki and her entire bloodline and her new song, His. Not only did Megan call Nicki out for being jealous of her, but she also threw shade at Nicki's husband, Kenneth Petty, and her brother, who are both registered sex offenders, when she rapped the line, these girls don't be mad at Megan, these girls mad at Megan's law. She also went on to mock Nicki for photoshopping her pictures to look snatched so she can compete with the young female rappers. She said, don't you ever grab a mic and think that me and you competing. Bad B and the walls ain't bending. Post a photo, names start trending. A lot of people were living for the shade because this was the first time that somebody had read Nikki to filth for her nasty attitude. Now Nikki clapped back by releasing a diss track where she accused Megan of hooking up with her best friend's man and even claimed that Megan slept with her stepfather after her mother died. She said, this little Megan talking about Megan's law. For a free beat, you could hit Megan raw. Effing your best friend's man is crazy. You the type though. How you F your mother man when she die? Chow, bye. Swear it on your dead mother when you lie. And it's unclear where Nikki scooped up all these crazy allegations. And a lot of people felt like she was just making stuff up so she could find something to say about Megan because she really had nothing on her. Now this is where things get even more messy because while all this was going down, a lot of celebrities decided to publicly side with Megan, including Erica Badu, Ruby Rose, Victoria Monet, etc. But what really got people talking was when Lotto decided to be very messy by publicly showing her support for Meg. She left a comment under Megan's IG post about Hiss and said, you making us proud, Meg. And guess what? Megan actually liked the comment. Now, the real reason why Lotto leaving this comment and and Megan going out of her way to like it is such a big deal is because Lotto also got into a very messy view with Nicki about a year ago. After Nicki seemingly suggested that her song Big Energy didn't deserve a Grammy nomination, it all started when Nicki blasted the Grammys for moving her song Super Freaky Girl to the pop category because it had a pop sound to it, even though she personally submitted it to the rap category. Super Freaky Girl was the highest selling female rap song of 2022 too, and one of the highest selling songs overall for the year, so she really did have a chance to win if they kept it in the rap category. But with the Grammys moving it to the pop category, she was obviously now going to have to compete with actual pop artists like Adele, Harry Styles, Beyonce, and more. Obviously meaning her chances of even getting a nomination, less talk of winning, were very slim. Super freaky girl was removed from rap categories, we found out today in the Grammy submissions, right? Super Freaky Girl, where I only rapped on the song, was removed out of rap categories at the Grammys, right? And put in pop. Now, I'm not gonna lie, Nikki did make some valid points because it was clear as day that the Grammys were intentionally trying to sabotage her in that. But the real mess even started when she decided to drag Lotto into this by claiming that if Super Freaky Girl wasn't good enough to be in the rap category, then Lotto's big energy has no energy being there either since it also has a pop sound. This was very random and it threw a whole lot of people off, including Lotto, because it was like Nikki was trying to use Lotto as a scapegoat. Let's say 
that let's say that super freaky girl is a pop song let's just say that right what is big energy if super freaky girl is a pop song what song is big energy what genre is big energy so i'm just going i'm just going to explain this to you yes thank you they stay moving the goalpost when it comes to me because in order for them to uplift the people who they want to shine the people who these corporate giants you know can can make um the money off of the people who control things a lot of things behind the scene they have to elevate someone that they profit off so they must move the goalpost for me all the time and shout out to drake for even drake spoke up on this when he was like why am i winning a rap uh you know, award for hotline, hotline bling. Um, big energy is rap, but super freaky girl is pop. Now, if you say both of them are pop, I would say, okay, fine, because I'm all about being fair. Like, I never, yo, let me tell you something. I got to where I am by working hard. I never in my life have asked for handouts. I don't want nothing free. I don't I don't never want to cheat nothing to get nothing that I that I have. I want to win fair and square anything. If you can't tell by now that there is a concerted effort to give newer artists things that they really don't deserve over people who have been deserving for many years, then you're not paying attention. Now, Lana was not having it, and she clapped back by putting up a tweet that said, damn, I can't win for losing. All these awards slash nominations, I can't even celebrate. Nikki then responded by leaking a private text between her and Lotto, where Lotto was basically telling her that she agreed with everything she said, but she doesn't think it was necessary for Nikki to bring her name up because the conversation they had earlier didn't really end very well. Nikki decided to put this private message on on blast and added a very nasty tweet that said this Karen has probably mentioned my name in over a hundred interviews since she waited in line for pink Friday with a Barbie chain on bangs pink hair but today scratch off decides to be silent rather than speak up for the black woman she called her biggest inspiration oh but Lotto didn't allow Nikki to have the last laugh because she responded in another tweet and humiliated Nikki for trying to bully her she said I've ignored countless subtweets since March and instead addressed you in the DM. You asking why I didn't speak up in your defense. It's the same answer I gave you when you asked why I didn't congratulate you. You're literally older than my mom trying to be a bully and at Nicki Minaj. Nicki then responded by claiming Lotto looked like a 35 year old Karen. She said all this time, I thought you was at least 35. Age shaming when you the one look like you pushing 40 age shaming but was begging for a feature imagine what them jeans gonna do in 10 years and oh so you in your 20s okay then at least it matched your album sales you sold 20k right mad you flopped that's why you really mad lotto then decided to drag this feud to a whole nother level when she posted a recorded phone call between her and nikki she said she only recorded it because she knew the kind of person that nikki was and she wanted to make sure she had all receipts when the time came for her her to expose her. Something that is clearly delusional. It's delusional to say that other girls are flourishing. It's delusional to say that other girls are flourishing. Recognize, to recognize we weren't giving the platforms that we're being given right now. And I literally, I give you props all the time in every other interview for opening the door for that to be a possibility now. Oh, okay. So what's the conclusion? 
what do you think um, you wanna you wanna say about? Let's let you finish your statement about what female rappers were doing before and what they're doing now. Let let I want I want you to finish. It. I finished it, Nikki. Okay. Right, I said at, at right, for a long time it was you. It was me. Yes, so, so, and and so, your so your you didn't do your research. What if so, it, so, so so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna have somebody send you send you the information about all the women in the in the last ten years who have had um billboard recognition, mm -hmm. worldwide global mm -hmm. recognition. Mm -hmm. Since you are clearly putting yourself above these people. No, I'm not. That's like that's the purpose misinter uh I can't even think of the word, like just purposely trying not to understand what I'm saying. You don't even understand what you're saying because No, oh, I know exactly what I'm saying. What I'm saying is it was you running for a long time. I never said that you're no longer running I said it the hard way. You're going to have okay. to learn the real world and the well i love you and i will regardless you know what i'm saying i'm okay. going to support you from the sidelines i feel okay. very yes from the sidelines okay. because i can't do it publicly when someone is literally subtweeting me for no reason purposely okay. trying to misinterpret what i'm saying I, I respect you too much to go back and forth with you so okay. i i appreciate you for getting on the phone with me the song lyric was recorded last year way before any of this and I cannot, could, yeah, you said, because you just, you just said, I like to say it's giving, though. That it's giving bar was nothing, it didn't have nothing to do with you. And it's not going to benefit you. You understand? If people around you cared about you, they would have told you, that's not going to benefit you. What's not going to benefit me? Let me go. I have to do a Zoom. I'll, I'll hit you back. Thank you. Lotto then went on to call Nikki a hating old granny and slammed her for associating with SA offenders. Then subbing, super freaky grandma is married and related to effing S offenders. You ain't gonna bully me, B. My idol turned rival, now you hating? Nikki then clapped back by saying, one, didn't care about SA when she was begging for features, didn't care about Codex past, didn't care about the accusations made about Dr. Luke, who produced Big Energy. Newsflash scratch off, I've never essayed anyone. I've inspired millions. You're one of them, bozo. Baby, this is a hot stinking mess. And as y'all can see, Nikki was responding exactly how she is right now with Megan. The only difference is that Megan is not giving her that kind of reaction that she's desperately craving for right now. This seems to be a pattern with Nikki, and everybody's over it. This is also why people felt like Lotto was trying to be shady when she left that comment on Megan's post. Because she's basically now trying to become friends with Megan just because they both have beef with the same person. Now, even though people felt like Nikki was wrong, they weren't here for Lotto being all up in Megan's comments just because they both have a mutual enemy and they dragged her for it. Like this person who said, so basically she admitting that she couldn't diss Nikki and get a career out of it now that Megan did it and accomplished the job, she making you proud? The way they don't even hide the jealousy and envy is crazy. Another person said, y'all know damn well this one Meg song is not stopping Nikki's legacy. I hate the beefing, but people really switch sides as things flow. Nobody believed Meg when she got sh I saw everyone downing her. Now she released this his song and everyone loved Meg. Crazy, crazy people. If Meg would have to drop 30 albums, it would not touch Nicki and that's real. But now I wanna know your thoughts. Do y'all think Lotto is praising Megan because she dis Nicki? Y'all been knew what to do. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below. And don't forget to click here to watch this other very messy video.